Hey guys, this is Tech It Out, and today we are going to be finding out if the iPad 3rd generation is still usable in 2021. The iPad 3rd generation, as many of you know, was the very first Retina iPad with a resolution of 1536 by 2048 pixels for the 9.7 inch display. It shipped on iOS 5.1 but is compatible with up to iOS 9.3.5 and almost every version that it ran is jailbroken. The iPad has a 1 gigahertz dual core A5X processor and the iPad has 1 gigabyte of RAM. At its launch, the iPad was available in 16, 32, and 64 gigabyte storage configurations with both a Wi-Fi and a cellular option. The iPad features a 5 megapixel 1080p main camera with a 480p selfie camera which is 1.2 megapixels. It also features a 10 hour battery life just like every other iPad with a 42.5 watt hour battery. So this being said, let's see what is still usable on the iPad 3rd generation in 2021. Unfortunately, this video will not be quite as simple as the one I made in 2019. At the beginning of the video last year, I just kind of showed how a lot of modern apps still worked and uh, you were able to download older versions of it and they would work just fine. However, this year that is not the case. But before we get into that, we are going to start with some Apple services such as FaceTime and iMessage. Okay, so let's go ahead and test out FaceTime. FaceTime my iPhone. Making a FaceTime call to my iPhone. Okay, so as you can see, we we have video here, but I'm gonna mute these before any feedback happens because it always happens. So as you can see, FaceTime does work on the iPad third generation. So let's go ahead and test out iMessage. Okay, so I don't know why iMessage was signed out of my iPad, but it was. Anyways, we're logged back in and I'm going to message my phone right here. Just make sure it works. And we get the text here on my phone, so I'll go ahead and reply. Okay. And it texts back. So iMessage works perfectly fine on the iPad third generation. Okay, so let's test out the maps. I'm going to search for Apple Park in California so as you can see it has loaded Apple Park so the map service on the iPad third generation is still usable okay so next let's test the music app and Apple music okay so just to test it let's make sure that it works Okay, so as we can see, Apple Music still works perfectly fine. Okay, so now let's look at the App Store and App Support. However, since the last video, there have been a few apps that I have kept, and this is also my personal iPad. So, uh, like Amazon Prime Video, if I were to delete it right now, I would not be able to re-download it from the App Store. So, I'm just going to show you an example, such as Netflix. As you can see, Netflix is not compatible with this iPad. Now, there are some apps, if you get lucky, you can go in your purchase section and you can download an older version, but a lot of the time, the older version of the app won't work like YouTube no longer works and Sling TV no longer works so I'll just show you YouTube here if I can download wait I didn't search it in the purchase history I'm not sure if it will let me download it here or not we're about to find out anyways so unable to purchase so if I go to purchase history it may let me download an older version 
actually about 50% of the time you'll get YouTube to work and the other 50% it will tell you that you have to update the YouTube app in order for it to work. Okay, so YouTube has loaded, so let's go ahead and see what happens. So I'm actually not going to sign into YouTube and it seems actually that it's going to work at the moment. It's possible that this is a different version than what I used uh, before. So you are able to download YouTube, but only if you have it in your purchase history. Yo, got a very special video for you guys today, so stay tuned. So as you can see, YouTube seems to work perfectly fine. So let's try one game so, uh, such as Among Us and see if it's compatible. So you have to download an older version of Among Us. While that is downloading, I have the latest version of Minecraft that it will allow me to download. Um, it is playable, but uh, it's not the latest version. So if you wanted to play like online with your friends, uh, you wouldn't be able to do that if they have a newer version of Minecraft. Again, the only reason I use Minecraft as an example is because it is known for allowing devices all the way down to like iOS 5 to still run Minecraft. It's only been in the last year or so that Apple has been placing these not compatible with your iPad banners all over the App Store. So we are in the world. Should be. It's been a long time since I've been here, but as you can see, it takes a long time to actually to actually load all the blocks. If you fly around here, it takes a minute to actually render what's in the distance. But technically, it is playable. So if you want to play older games like Minecraft, if you have it in your purchase history, you can download it. That's the key thing, if you have it in your purchase history. If you don't, you won't be able to download it. So let's go to Among Us and see if it is actually playable or not. I'll try reloading it and see what's happening. Okay, so we got a logo here, but it still doesn't seem to be loading. I'll give it another minute or so. Okay, so I think it is safe to say that Among Us is not playable. So as far as video games, because of the app support, you really can't play many video games, if any, on the iPad third generation unless you have an older version of the app on iTunes on your computer or if you have it in your purchase history. Okay, so the last thing that we're going to test is Safari. So let's go ahead and go to Apple's website just to give you an overview of how well the browser holds up with modern websites. Does it slow down? Does it crash? Is it glitchy? Um, I mean, it hasn't loaded the website fully, but it's loaded. So the iPad section at least seems to load okay. Although I don't know if the graphics are supposed to be shrunk like this. Yeah, they're definitely not supposed to be. How they're all kind of going to one side there. So it's definitely glitchy, but technically usable. So looking at the iPad Pro section, it actually seems to be loading better than the images on the other page. However, it's just it's just lagging, but at least all the images and text seem to be showing properly, except for that. That does not, I don't think the words are supposed to be overlaying each other. Okay, so let's try one more website and that will be YouTube. So it is decently fast actually. So if you want to use Safari for YouTube, it seems, seems usable. So it seems that YouTube and Safari works perfectly fine. 
Okay, so is the iPad third generation still usable in 2021? Well, app support is pretty terrible. It's not quite as bad as the iPad first generation, but for the most part, every single app that you will download will just say it's not compatible with this iPad. As far as Safari, like I said a minute ago, it's not terrible, but it's not great, and I certainly wouldn't recommend it if you have a newer iPad or even a laptop. You can use this iPad for basic features like FaceTime and iMessages, but that's about it, and you certainly can't really use this iPad for gaming. So overall, I would say that the iPad third generation is not usable in 2021. Anyways, if you enjoyed this video, please drop a like and subscribe to my channel, as well as comment if you have any questions or comments, and I'll try to get to them as soon as I can. I will also leave my video on if the iPad third generation is still usable in 2019 in the link in the description. Please go check it out. Anyways, I'll catch you guys in the next video. Peace.